This is part one of my DIY towfish build video. In this video, I'll show you how I put together the, the main body and the stabilizer fins. I sand them down, connect them, all that good stuff. You're watching CSD Solutions, LLC. Figure I'll start from the beginning. A while back, I had been looking for different options on side scan sonar, and one of them I found was the towfish design. Extremely expensive, so obviously it wasn't going to be something that I was going to be able to afford, but it's something I've been thinking about for a long time. So a while back when I had to replace my transducer because I had an issue with it, and I'll probably have another video about that later down the road, I decided I was going to make my own. So, of course, you Google it first. So I Googled DIY towfish, and lots of pictures of people have done this. So I said, hey, well, that sounds like a thing I might be able to do. The first thing I saw in here was this design with these, basically it was PVC, and also with these fins. So the fins idea is pretty industry standard. That's pretty typical st stabilizer fins. But when I saw this with the pipe, I thought, you know, that's pretty cool because if you get a little piece of seaweed or something or plant material, maybe these the fact that they're rounded and beveled like that, maybe it would just roll off. Also, it seemed like it would be easy to make that work. So I, I clicked on a few links and hunted, hunted, hunted for several weeks, um, you know, intermittently. And um, eventually... I found this website, treasurenet.com, and there was quite a few posts. Oddly enough, they're all from like 10, 15 years ago, which I don't know why, or maybe like less than 10 years, but they're all really old. Like nobody's posting anything uh, that I can find on Google recent, uh, which I thought was a little odd. But, you know, a couple years back, some folks did try and do this and they did build these and they posted different things showing where they got it to work. And so that made me think, well, if they got it to work, I bet I can too. Another website I found a lot of information on was sideimagingsoft.com. There's a lot of people posting on this site a while back with information. This design I like a lot with the PVC pipe, like I said, and it seemed like I could probably do this pretty easily. So the next step was to go source some PVC. Went down to the big box store in town and they have this convenient aisle obstruction stand where they have two foot sections of different size PVC. Three inch PVC and a piece of two inch PVC. So literally just two pieces of PVC pre-cut, I was able to build the initial frame of this body. Now, I could have got more and got more fancy and fins like this guy did, but I honestly didn't think it was going to be necessary. So all I needed, in my mind, was three. Uh, you needed a, a vertical and a horizontal. And I made it so that the, the horizontal fins set in such a way that it would sit on the ground flat and level. Now that I had a rough idea of how I was going to make these fins, it's just a matter of measuring and cutting. So I knew I wanted the side ones to be the same length, so I figured I would just uh, cut off the section for the top fin and then just do an angled cut for the side fins. And the goal was to make it so that these two side fins were the same, and so it was kind of tricky to get that in the right spot, but I got close enough and I just kind of made it work the rest of the way with sanding it down. Use the chop saw to cut these pieces in it. Did a pretty good job. They're or too much of a mess. Then I used a Dremel with a sandy wheel on it to get it the rest of the way nice and smooth.
Next, I'm going to use a little acetone to wipe off the ink that's on these PVC pipes so they just look nice, clean and white. I smoothed out the lip of the three inch pipe, made sure it fit nice and snug, but not too snug onto the cap. It's time to line them up and see how it looked. So everything lined up pretty good. So now I was on to deciding where I was gonna drill the holes to connect it all together. And so I needed to find out where the center of the bottom of this thing was. That's how I was wiggling it back and forth. I pretty much just eyeballed it. So I did take the time to measure out my holes so that they were the same distance from the back. Thought that would be helpful. It would also allow me to measure the measure on the pipe, the larger pipe, so that I know where to put those holes. So as you can see here, the top fin is a little bit shorter than two side fins, and the two side fins look pretty good about the same length. That was the goal. Now it's time to pick out my hardware. I have a bin of stainless steel bolts and screws. So I went ahead and found some stuff that I had that would work and sized it up. Next part was to drill the holes for the bolts. Since I was gonna be using washers, I didn't have to make the holes exact or anything. Just gotta be close, big enough for it to get through easily, but not so much that the head pulls through. In hindsight, there's probably a better way than just eyeballing this. You probably could measure out the degrees, get it in just the right spot so they get mounted correctly. I just eyeballed it and got lucky. Uh, if I were you, if you're doing this, maybe put a little more thought into where those holes go. Just the way you get it lined up perfectly. Triangle did come in handy for this part, making sure the, the holes were lined up straight. Also, this is where I used those measurements I made earlier to try and make the holes in pretty much the same spot. It came out close enough.
Once most of the holes are drilled, it was time to start assembling. And did have to make a couple adjustments as I was putting it together, but it's no big deal. Went together pretty easily and actually turned out pretty straight, surprisingly. Now that everything was on hand tight, it was uh, time to tighten it down the rest of the way. Made my little makeshift extension on my mini socket to get in there. And it worked. It was kind of a pain, but uh, worked okay. So last step was to put this top fin on. And again, using the triangle and kind of eyeballing it, I did my best to get it in there where I thought it needed to be. I was relatively successful, didn't, didn't have too much trouble getting this thing centered. So another thing to note here is I use this triangle to make a long line past the point where the top fin would, would be so that I could then mark on the fin where it needed to be. So uh, it was kind of tricky to get it in the right spot, but it worked. Now that the fins are attached, and they turned out pretty good, I feel like they're where they need to be. Last thing was to put on the nose cone. So this is just temporary nose cone. I got another one that's coming, or actually has come in the mail now. And uh, so I might swap that out later. But it turned out pretty good. I'm relatively happy with the build so far. So if you want to see the next part of this build, and you want to see how I actually install the transducer and all that stuff, Make sure you subscribe to my channel or maybe just go look for it in my other videos. Take it easy.